why? This is the question that has been troubling many philosophers over the centuries. I'm sure that many of you will laugh at this simple question and say that we are intellectual and rational beings, capable of abstract thinking, that we are humans, of course. Biologically speaking, we are just a collection of cells and tissues. But what if I told you that most cells in your bodies are not even human? In each of you, there are about 100 trillion microbial cells, which is 10 times more than the number of your own human cells. In other words, there are 10 microbial cells in or on each one of your own cell. You all heard about good bacteria living in our gut, but I'm sure that none of you imagine that more than 1,000 different microbial species live permanently or temporarily in and on us. I think that you will agree with me that answer to the question, who am I, isn't so simple anymore. We could say that we are one complex community, an ecosystem where human and microbial cells live together. And if we get on well together, we stay healthy. If not, problems arise. But let me introduce you to your microbes. This is your bacterium. And this is your virus. And now, are ready to find out what do we microbes do for you, our hosts? We make your skin look radiant and maintain it as a good barrier against the outer world. We help your guts to digest your lunch. We tell your immune system how to recognize your enemies. We even protect you from invasion of bad microbes. We are scattered all around your body and we populate your organs during your birth. Do you all see now how very important your microbes are? But even though we are outnumbered in a cell count by microbes, they weigh only about one to two kilograms. It means that they can be heavier than your brain. So next time when you can't squeeze into your tight pants, you can blame it on them. <laughs> Not only that, the combination of microbes that live in and on you is as unique as your own fingerprint. So, from now on, when you think about microbes, I hope that you will not think only of bad things. Remember, we have more microbial cells than our own. They're mostly good for us, and without them, we would not be who we are. In the end, let me tell you who I am. I am Andrea. Thank you. So what's your favorite bacterium and why? <laughs> well, it's a difficult question because I find all microbes very, very interesting and surprisingly, and I would definitely like to be later in the research of all these microbes and what they can offer to us. So at the moment, I don't have a, the most lovable one, but hopefully in the end. <laughs> and by weight, by weight, which is the, uh, the bacterium we've got most of in our bodies? Uh, we have the most of it, the two bacteria that live in, in our guts, uh, those are the genders Firmicutes and Bacteriode Tetes, so they, protect, they help us to digest our food, Fantastic. mostly. Thank you. <laughs> and right now, what's, do you, are you researching? No, uh, currently I'm, just, I'm still a student of molecular biology, so I'm working on my master thesis with rheumatoid arthritis, and later on we will see, maybe be with microbes to do in research, I don't know. Thank you very much. Thank okay, you. 10% human, 100% scientist, <laughs> Andrea Gelamanovich. <laughs>